how to use keyboard shortcuts in Mac. If you are using MacBook Air, MacBook Pro or iMac, the steps are going to be same. Now there are few keyboard shortcuts you should definitely know if you are using a Mac. So let's start with the first one, which is regarding getting file info. So whenever you are, uh, you know, opening any particular file or whenever you want to check file details, all we uh, do is select the file, we right click and then select get info option to get all the details related to that particular file. But you don't have to do that. All you need to do is just select that particular file and press command plus I on your keyboard and you will be able to get that file info. So you don't have to go via long process, use this keyboard shortcut to get info. Now the next shortcut is related to deleting a particular file or folder. So let's say if you want to uh, delete any particular file, all we do is we select that particular file or folder, we right click and then we select move to bin. But you don't have to do that. All you need to do is just select that file or folder and press command plus delete to move that file or folder to bin. So yeah, start using this shortcut. Now next shortcut is related to preview. So let's say for example, if you want to check any particular file or images, all we do is we double click on that particular file to open that uh, file in preview application. But instead of that, you can do a simple thing, select that file and just press space bar on your keyboard to, you know, preview that particular file. And once uh, again, uh, if you press space bar, it will be gone. So no need to double click and open the file. Just select the file by single tapping on the image or file and just press space bar to preview it. Now the next shortcut is related to spotlight search. Let's say if you want to search for any particular application or any particular settings, you can use spotlight search. Now shortcut for that is already available on the menu bar. This is the search icon. Just select that and spotlight search will be activated. But if you don't find that option in menu bar, press command plus space bar on your keyboard and spotlight search will be activated. So let's say if you want to search for app store, you can do that. You can open the application if you want to search for system settings, you can do that as well. So yeah, you can directly search for anything in spotlight search. Now the next shortcut is for browser. Let's say if you are using any particular browser and whenever you want to go to home page, all we do is we select this minimize option, which is in yellow color over here. We select that and we go to our desktop or home page, but you don't have to do that. All you need to do is press command plus H on your keyboard and you will be directly to your home page. And no need to worry, the file is still there. If I select Safari browser once again, you can see the page is as it is. So use command plus H to minimize or go to home page in your Mac. Now the next shortcut is again related to searching files or folders. This time you don't have to use spotlight search. All you need to do is press command plus F on your uh, keyboard and you will be getting this window. So over here you can search for whichever file you want. So let's say if I want WhatsApp uh, file, I'm going to type WhatsApp and it will show me all the files related to it. And later on, if you want to search for any other details or any other files or images, you can do that. So if I type image over here, it is going to show me all the images which is available in my Mac. So yeah, if you want to search for files and folders, you can use command plus F. Now the next shortcut is for quitting an application. If you're still using the old method to quit app, which is going on app name on menu bar and selecting quit option, that's an old one. Try this shortcut. If you want to quit any particular app, you don't have to go and select app name. All you have to do is you have to press command plus Q to quit that application. Just make sure that the application is open. So let's say if I want to close this uh, music application, I'm not going to go on music. I'm directly going to press command plus Q and it will quit that particular app. Now the next shortcut is for precise volume adjustment or adjusting your volume in smaller steps. So you might be wondering what is this? So usually uh, we use volume up key to increase the volume and volume down key to decrease the volume. But each time you will notice that it is either decreasing by one bar or increasing by one full bar. But you can adjust your volume in smaller step. For that, all you need to do is you need to press option plus shift. And if you want to increase the volume, use volume up key. And now you can notice that the volume level is increasing in smaller steps. Similarly, if you want to decrease the volume in smaller step, use option plus shift and then volume down key to decrease the volume in smaller step. I bet 
many of you might not be uh, knowing about this shortcut. Now the next shortcut is for taking screenshot in your Mac. So let's say if you want to take a screenshot of any particular page, all you need to do is you need to press command plus shift and then number key three on your keyboard. And if you do that, screenshot will be taken. This is the screenshot. And if you want to check out the screenshot, this is the current screenshot which we have taken. So now you can see it has captured full screen. But if you want to take or if you want to capture just a you know particular part of the screen then for that all you need to do is you need to press command plus shift and then four on your keyboard and you will get this marking like tool and over there you can press and hold and select the area for which you want to take the screenshot of so i'm going to take screenshot of this and if i leave it now you can see this is the screenshot which we have taken just now. So it is the part of an area which we have just selected. So if you want to take screenshot of full page, press command plus shift plus three. And if you want to take screenshot of selected area, press command plus shift and then four, and then select the area which you want to take screenshot of. So yeah, definitely try this. Now, last but not the least, today's last shortcut I'm going to explain is related to Safari browser once again. Now, if you want to open any new tab instead of the current tab, all we do is we press plus option over here and new page will be started. So on one page, I have opened Google and on another page, I have opened Apple site. Now, you don't have to use this plus icon to open new tab. All you can do is you can directly press command plus T on your keyboard and you can open as many tabs as you want so again if you press command plus t again new tab will be open but let's say if you want to close the tab all we do is we select the tab and we select this cross mark to close it but again you don't have to use this uh, method to close the tab all you can do is just select the tab which you want to delete and then press command plus w to completely delete that so if i select this start page tab and if i press command plus w it is gone so yeah Command T for new tab and command W to delete particular tab. So guys, these are some basic shortcuts which you should definitely try in your Mac. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.